Since speaking out about the removal of a memorial cross for 17-year-old Carlos Hernandez, Wichita Falls City Councilors are hoping new guidelines will allow families of fat uh, fatalities to grieve and set up those memorials. Dylan Jimenez heard today's presentations from city officials. So Dylan, these guidelines stem from TxDOT. Yeah, that's right, Carney. Development Service Director Terry Floyd says a handful of cities in the state follow similar guidelines and do an application process. Floyd presented counselors with the staff presentation with ideas the staff has come up with to potentially allow memorials on the right of way. The big emphasis Floyd pointed out is having some type of contact with the families who have memorials, which is provided on the application. Families approved for memorial are allowed to have it up for a year, but can renew on a year to year basis. Memorials are not to be more than 30 inches tall, no more than 12 inches buried, not in concrete. Families are also in charge of maintenance. The city will give families a 30 days notice if they need to remove the memorial to do lack of upkeep or future city projects. Many of our staff who've been involved in the memorial markers that, that are already there in some cases, a lot of times after a year, the families, a year or two, the families start to, you know, start to go through the grieving process for whatever it is, um, and, and they'll, they'll remove those markers voluntarily. After today's meeting, the city will be meeting with families about this process. Floyd told counselors in previous discussion with families they find it good for them. No action was taken on the matter, but it could come up at the next council meeting. All right, good to know, Dylan. Thank you so much for that report.